Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. Welcome back. How are we? Um, yeah, it is now Friday. I was meant to be doing this on Thursday. It hasn't happened. Um, but it's Friday. Weekend is near. My dog's whinging. What? What's up? What? Where's your ball? You got your ball? Yeah, get here then. You want me to throw it, but you, you don't want to give it me. Come here, no, get it. <laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> That's my psychotic dog. <laughs> so, what have I done? So, um, I was feeling really kind of like meh this morning. And I decided, I did a bit of uh, some photographs. And it gave me the boost that I needed to go out and do some sourcing. The reason why I'm sourcing so much this week is because I'm not going to the car boots on Saturday or Sunday. So those um, pieces that I got from a kilo sale on Saturday, I've basically listed all of them. I've got four pieces left that I need to do. <clears throat> um, I, went, I went sourcing yesterday in Maxfield. I'm going to show you what I've got. And I went sourcing today, <laughs> of all the days. I was like, yeah, this morning. So this morning I was a bit kind of like bummed out. And I wasn't, I just I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> couldn't be bothered. Do we all get days like that? So, but I said, no, I need to pull my finger out. I need to be productive. So I've done all my parcels, sent them out. I've, uh, I had, I went to Costa and I had a peach iced tea. <laughs> I was going to get a latte, but I thought, no. It was nice and sunny, so I got some iced tea. Um, and then I went shopping, and I went to places where I haven't been in a while. So, um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with what I got. did spend up on a couple of bits, though, but I think I've done quite well. And I did quite well yesterday. Afternoon, people. <laughs> um, I am in Maxfield. And it is raining. <laughs> but it's not deterring people, because there is loads of people out today. And a few resellers have noticed. So, just enough to my first trouser, because I won't have time to do any sourcing this weekend because I'm too busy. So I thought I'll do it now. <sighs> Me. <laughs> there it is, first one, Windy Way Trust. They've got a pound rail, you can kind of see it. Even though it was sunny this morning, I should have really come out, but I just felt really iffy. I felt really down and really blue. So I decided to pull my finger out, <laughs> hustle, and basically I've decided to come out. Now I'm on my way to the chasm. So 
absolute nightmare trying to vlog down here. <laughs> so many people around. But yeah, I'm uh, heading back now. I'm gonna go get a Costa. Chill out. That's a bit high up. There we go. Alright, got these bad boys. Vases, very funky. Nice tangerine, ori <laughs> tangerine orange uh, colour. You've been tangoed by Azza Germany. Weird comps on random Azza stuff. Um, but I wonder if I just put them up maybe at 40 to 50 pounds, that'd be great. But I paid four pounds for this one, two pounds for this one. This one does have a wee chip in the corner though. But they were great as a set. Some comforters for a pound each. So I got this today. This is pretty cool. It's a vintage Campri. Look at that. Teams. <laughs> Rookie. And I'm just sort of Googling it now. Oi. Let's have a look. Campri Teams. Rookie. Is that Rookie with an E? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's only one that I can see. That says Lucifer. Oh, that's pretty wicked, that one, though. There's a ski jacket. Campri Team ski jacket. And it's fluorescent. It looks like a nitrous oxide cop uniform. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it says skiing. And those sort of things says ski. Can you see? Um, mine's a bit more palatable let's just put it. it's worse than that orange bloody vase it's like got yellow pinks greens it's weird they've got it up for 90 i don't think this will go for 90 this is more slower speed let's just put it that way look at that though it's got a little what's it to put your bits on so that is pretty cool camp routines and best yet it's a large but it was reduced from six pound. I would have paid six pound to three. I fucking love a deal. I love bargains. I love finding bargains. But yeah, that's good. I mean, I, it's coming up to kind of like ski seat season. It's a bit warm there. Can you see that? It's just a bit warm there on that end. But other than that, it's in perfect condition. Uh, yeah, really, really chuffed with that. Well, I paid up for these. Ralph, <laughs> there's a reason for it. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Stretch Classic Fit and their double X um, TTG, which is that tall, wide, <laughs> plus size. Uh, look at them shorts. Look, you've got these embroidered hula girls and like tropical palm trees and stuff. <laughs> embroidered all, all over, it's all over. I love these. I might keep them. I've got them because I might keep them. Um, and the guy was like, ooh, 8 50 for Ralph Lauren, that's cheap. And I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> I was dying to say, £4 would have been cheap. <laughs> this is right on the money. <laughs> um, personally, I don't know how much I could put them up for. If it was really cheeky, I've checked, and I can't really find a proper comp on them. Sold. That's listed, by the way. Yeah, £79.99 in the UK. And they're mediums. Yeah, medium, 35 quid. 69.99. 38, so that's a large. So it won't be out of the realms of possibility. Maybe putting them up for 39.99. Because they're double XL. Really nice. And if they don't sell, then I might have to have them. Just a simple Nike XL. Sweater, 23 quid, Lazy Jacks. Now, the last time I put up Lazy Jacks, it sold like that. I never buy Tommy Hilfiger unless it's at the kilo sale. <laughs> um, but I saw this and I thought, oh, this is really nice. Again, if it doesn't fit, I might keep it, but I don't think it'll fit me, actually. It's a double X, but it's like Tommy Hilfiger, so they're always on the, the shorter side. Um, five pound, but it's premium linen and a really nice seaside-y kind of like feel. Like this is something like someone will buy for holiday. Even though it's a, a long sleeve, it's like a, an evening wear kind of thing. Easy and breezy. I think if I put it up for 20, maybe 25, 
I could accept offers and I can make my money back easier. And it is Michael Franti and Spearhead by George Porter Jr. and the the Running Pardon Partners. It's not vintage, it's from like 2016. But look at that, that's cool print. Nice banty. Only £3. And there's a couple that I've seen sell for 20 So I don't know what to make of that. I might put it up for maybe 25 I got hats galore, hats galore. Uh, I got a, I've washed my hair, don't worry. And I've checked, they're not that bad. <laughs> uh, Black Ops, uh, it was £2. I've seen one up for £8.99 and I've seen one up for £12.99. I think if I pop it on for like, say, 10 or 11 50 I've got a weird shaped head. I don't like, <laughs> like my head. Uh, yeah, um, I got, but none that I'd like all black. I'm just looking through, none of them are all black. Like, and this is this is an all black one. It's got the, uh, the what's it, the hologram. One size fits all. I'm going to see Man United Ladies. So I wonder if I could possibly pull this off. See my hair now, because it's so long, it sticks out the side and it looks ridiculous. Yeah, so I've got a... United hat. All of them have like a coloured crest and they're usually between 12 and 16. Uh, the only weird, weirder one is like the pink one, but obviously it's not pink. Um, I don't know. Do you know what? I might try it. It's $19.99. One's gone for $15.99 you see. Another one's gone for $14.99. $9.99. That's a grey one, a rubbish one. Okay, this one's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm against... I'm for gun control and all that lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is Beretta. <laughs> Beretta, you know, like the gun. Beretta. And I think this one sold for $17.99. Uh, and probably the best one is this Formula One. <laughs> Infinity, Red Bull, Sebastian Vettel signed. It's not a pop sign, it's embroidered signed. Uh, hat. Okay, there's a lot of ones that are signed. Oh no, wait, there's quite a lot of pre-owned ones. There's like four or five in Japan for £111. But they're not Infinity, they're, uh, it just says racing, Formula 1 racing. And it's got the embossed bulls, red bulls. And also today, what I got, which is going to transition nicely, that was nice. Um, two ninety nine white company, like Grandad long sleeve tea. It's wool cashmere, wool lovers, large pink, and it was four pound. I've been on a roll with Red Perry stuff, and it's one of those double tipped ones. And it's is a medium though, and I kind of promised myself not to get medium, just to get large on upward. But yeah, still. If it goes for what I want it, if it go, even if I put it up for twenty pounds and I accept fifteen, I'm still making a lot of money. Uh, sure, this is a fail. This is one that I might need to take back. I've got I paid four fifty for them, and they're they're shorts. They're size thirty eight. Sure, I've never heard of them. I just kind of like took a punt. And they're just some uh, what's it? Some shorts, but I might take them back. Case it's three XL. They wanted three pound, three quid. And I got a shirt, a really, really nice. It's like one of those back to um, inside out shirt things, like faded inside out uh, Hawaiian shirts. But that'll be great for the summer, and I'll probably put it up for twenty nine ninety nine, except anything over twenty two, twenty three. Okay, Versace Classic V two. These are ladies, uh, but they were four and a half quid. I could probably put them up for twenty, except fifteen. I used to find this all the time, and then I stopped finding it. Um, extra fine merino wool, John Smedley. 449 just a simple black what's it probably looking at about 35 499 xl patagonia green and it says jumper it's not it's just a green um what's it but it's got the on the back uh, again probably 20 that's a 15. uh i've got a lady's blouse not just any i got james mead but i i took a picture of the print because the print looked familiar and it came back as a Liberty style print, like a Liberty print. So I wonder, uh, and it's a size 16, it was 4.95. And I see saw a couple go for like 20 odd quid. 
Oh no, this is it. It's Rayon, but it, then it's also Angora. And it's um sandwich and it's an XL. And I paid $4.75. I did pay up and it's a cardigan. Made in Italy, it's like a balloon top. Lousy thing. $3.75. Paid five pounds for these. And, um white label, white company jeans. Brompton fit, boyfriend fit. This is a bit of a star attraction. I am um, I spent eight pounds. Eight whole pounds. But it's one like no other. That's the, the brand you want to look out for. And this one, it's quite a boring print because they remind me of like Robert Graham, the prince. Like that. Do you know what I mean? Like a bit weird. But this one, I got it because I haven't seen it in years in a charity shop. But also it has limited edition on the WhatsApp. So I don't know if it's a special one. But it is a small. I think I might chance it by putting it up for 50. Talking about that one of a kind of one like no other, I used to, I picked that up like right at the beginning of my reselling journey. And a, a brand that I used to pick up all the time was Camel Active. Now these are Woodstock jeans and they sell quite regular anyway. But I haven't seen any of them. Camel, I sometimes see the odd shirt, but I don't pick it up because they don't really sell. But the jeans do. And weirdly enough, I've just sold a camel jacket. Uh, anywho, yeah, so really good jeans. They do sell eventually, but four pound. And I used to pick them up all the time and I haven't seen anything. Like other, like the other day I saw one camel shirt, but that's the first time in months. I did get a load of um, one pound bargains, but I've already done a reel. Caterwell, phase eight, got some weird fish. Uh, Sugar Hill, old oh, Golfino tops, some Golfino tops, got some to Tommy Hilfiger jeans for a pound. Um, but yeah, it was all a bit, a bit random. So check out the uh, the reel. But yeah, that's all my sourcing done. And I think I might go sourcing on Saturday as well. It's to make up for the Sunday, to be honest, because I'm not sourcing on Sunday. I need stuff to kind of like, I've got to feed the beast feeding the eBay beast for the week. So I've needed to source a little bit extra this week and I'm glad I've done it and I've got mm, some bargains on the on the pound rail. So I'm quite happy with that. He's <laughs> yet another one, yet another. Oh, look what he's buying. He's constantly buying. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.